Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the last two examples that we saw in one of those previous videos, number seven and number eight. Number seven here we have the term a sub n as being 2n plus 1 divided by 3n plus 1 raised to the n power. Therefore we use what we call the root test. We take the argument in here and we raise it to the n power or I should say the nth root or we take the nth root of that. That's a better way to say it. And uh, of course we want to make sure we take the absolute value of that. And the nth root of this is equal to 2n plus 1 divided by 3n plus 1. Now, if that is less than 1, and it always will be as n gets larger, the plus 1 is becoming insignificant, and so we always get the ratio 2 over 3, so therefore we know that this series converges. And the last example, we're going to use the integral test. We're going to take this infinite series and write it as an integral, because basically that's what an infinite series is, kind of, right, because it's in increment steps and this is a continuous step but notice here if we write this as an integral instead of n we write x instead of n squared we write x squared and then we're going to integrate that from n equals 1 to infinity or from x equals 1 to infinity of course when we want to integrate that we have to have a proper differential which is going to be a minus 2x dx before we can integrate e to the minus x squared in case you're wondering where that came from this is it, let u equals minus x squared, du is going to be minus 2x dx, or dx is going to be equal to du divided by minus 2x. So that means you still need a minus 2x dx here in order to be able to integrate that, and so you have the accompanying minus 1 half in front. But then if we integrate that, we do get e to the minus x squared, evaluated from 1 to infinity. We still have the minus 1 half in the front. If we plug in the upper limit, that's 1 over e to the infinity squared, which is 0. Plug in the lower limit, you get e to the minus 1, which is 1 over e. When you multiply this, you get 1 over 2e. So therefore, we know that this series converges because that's the infinite sum of this. If we take the integral equivalent of that, we get 1 over 2e. And so therefore, we know the series must converge as well. And that's how it's done, again, by recognizing what form we're dealing with and then knowing the appropriate solution to find whether or not it converges or diverges. And that's how we do that.